Welcome back to Better Kansas City. So April showers bring May flowers and hopefully with it green grass. But after this tough winter, you may need some help. Cameron Kincaid from the grass pad is here to jump in and save us from a disappointing yard. And first of all, thank you for that because there's nothing worse than looking out and then seeing just patches and bare spots. Absolutely, it's a, it was a rough winter. So coming out of the winter, <sighs> we're looking to do anything we can to fill the yard in. Okay, so right now we're talking April. What are some things that we should be doing for our lawn? All right, so April's here. You know, we got a couple of days that it's it's the cold snap, but I'm not worried about it. What we're gonna do now is get out there and apply the prevent. This is step one. This is gonna feed the lawn and prevent ugly summer weeds from coming on. And that's so important. You know, what happens if we see the weeds in our yard today? You kind of like brought some of this in. And uh, you know, will this crabgrass prevent or kill them? We get that question all the time. This is actually just going to prevent the weeds. It's not going to kill anything. Mm -hmm. For killing the spring weeds, you know, we, we have the, the salad bar is what we call it, with Ooh. all the spring weeds coming on. They're okay. everywhere if you're driving down the road. You can see them anywhere and everywhere. But what you're going to use to kill that is that speed zone and stick it mm -hmm. combination. And you just mix that in a, a pump up style or a hosing style sprayer and that'll kill all those weeds and not hurt your grass. Oh my gosh, that is so important, right? Because we need the grass, get rid of the weeds. You know, let's talk about what we've got on the end here. I see you've actually put it in a bowl. Yeah, so this would be good used for a couple different things. Uh, one thing we'd use it for is if you have a dog spot where it's, it's muddy or the dog's jumping off the patio or off the deck and there's always a spot or between the gate where anyone's walking, this will help dry mm -hmm. up a muddy spot. You can kind of see the consistency of it there. So yeah. why do we need to dry up the muddy spots? Like why is that? Make bad? a safe spot for the dog to walk on, clean the paws mm -hmm. as they're coming inside. And this will also, you could put grass seed down and put this over the top of it and that'll protect the seeds from the elements and keep it wet. Okay, and is there any other spot that that's good for? Maybe around the fence or patio? A uh, fence line, patio. You can even use it on baseball fields if you have one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, baseball field in the backyard. That is amazing. You know, let's talk about some of the other biggest problems you guys are seeing right now. What are you getting calls for? Uh, so it's mainly weeds, uh, what to do now, and then grass seeding. Now is the time to seed. Today is mm -hmm. better than tomorrow. Tomorrow is better than next week. Get out there and do it, even if it's going to be 35 degrees a night. That's not going to hurt anything. Get out there and seed the lawn, the lawn now. Okay, and then let's also talk about these, right? So a lot of people have these lovely potted plants. I know we've got a lemon tree and a few of these that have been brought into my house. We're anxious to kick them outside. You know, when's the best time to do that? Uh, next week. Next week. As, as we get past this weekend, next week. A lot of this stuff is actually greenhouse grown, but it, it comes in in full color. We would just be worried about if it, if it freezes again tonight. But next week, it's supposed to be back in the 70s. Okay, so next week, we're talking 70s. Yeah. You know, should we bring stuff in tonight if we are going to see those colder temperatures? Stuff that's been in the ground, we are not worried about. You know, if you have tulips mm -hmm. and daffodils that are coming up and blooming, we're not worried about that. But stuff that is, you know, fresh vegetables that you're planting this year or mm -hmm. the spring, uh, stuff in the pots or the hanging baskets, make sure you bring that stuff in tonight. Okay. We also have something in a box here. You know, what is this? So that's a sprayer. That's what you would use with your liquid there. And okay. it's just a one gallon sprayer. It just shows you what you can uh, put that in, mix it with water and go ahead and spray the yard. Okay, and that's what the pros do use, just like you? Yep. Okay. Easy, easy. Okay, well thank you so much, Cameron. Now to visit any of the grass pads five locations in Kansas City, you can actually get pro help. Bring in photos or bring the weeds into the store. For more information, go to grasspad.com. For after hours help, you can also submit your question and photo on the Ask Uncle part of the website. We're back after this.